Hi YouTube Nation, uh, my name is Joe. I've decided to do kind of a two-part experiment type uh, video, like a self-transformation. 45-year-old um, guy, single. Um, as you can see, I'm really kind of a scrawny guy. I don't have much of a build to me. Um, I put on weight, went up to like 160, somewhere around there. At the beginning of the year, I decided to start working out again. And um, right now I'm down to probably like, I think I weighed myself 133, something like that. My uh, pant size at the time, at the beginning of January, was um, 33. And right now I'm able to squeeze into a 28. So definitely dropped a lot of weight. Um, so what I'd really like to do now is to try and see if I can build back some muscle mass and actually, you know, have not a, just a crazy rip hawked out body, but, you know, something that people notice and don't look at you like you're, you know, weaker of an individual and stuff like that. Um, what I did was I started off with, I made me a chart of my body parts, what I wanted to try and keep track of and stuff like that. Made it to where I can have, you know, last week and then what it's going to be in the current week. And I had a starting point. So I measured my chest. My chest is only 35 inches round. Um, I absolutely have no chest muscle whatsoever, hardly at all. It's absolutely terrible. My biceps were only 12 and a quarter, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, my arms aren't small. I'm a small frame guy. So that kind of, um, you know, it doesn't make it look too bad. My goal with my biceps is um, right now when I flex my arm, you know, looking at in the mirror, it's my bicep, you know, it's fairly, you know, big on the side, but I want it to where it comes up above my actual shoulder muscle because I have fairly big shoulders. Um, next is my thighs. My thighs were 18 and a half inches. Um, I bike a lot and stuff like that. I haven't been for a while, but I'm going to get back into a little bit heavier as soon as it warms back up. Um, my calf muscles was 14 and a quarter, which um, ain't too bad, but I really, really want to get them built back up too. Um, my stomach was a 32, and that's not my waist, but actually around my stomach and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and get my stomach to where you can see my abs and stuff like that, not a bunch of flabby fat. Uh, since the beginning of the year, I've mainly been walking on my treadmill. Um, this is now my makeshift gym. Picked me up a decent weight bench. Read some reviews on those mixed mixed reviews. Said it went good for um, people that are kind of short. I worked out on it some now, and um, excuse me, um, haven't had much of a problem with it. Just like to get to where I can actually move some weight on it. The bench is separate from the bar rack. I bought this because can move it out and actually convert it to a squat rack and work on you know my leg muscles and stuff like that too and do some other stuff I have another little just small bench right here I bought previously before that got this just to be able to work on doing some sit-ups and stuff like that crunches working on tightening up my um my abdominal muscles and getting rid of some of my belly fat and stuff like that and just had some cheap weights that I started working out doing some uh, curls on of course this is uh, my treadmill nothing fancy about it got a couple five pound weights I get on there and uh, I'll do about four and a half to five miles an hour on it Some sometimes I'll get up there and um, I can do seven to eight miles an hour in a nice jog or run whatever you want to call it right now I've um was doing about an hour a day. I'm cutting that back to like 20 minutes due to the fact that I'm starting to do the weightlifting too and stuff. Um, I got me a decent um, set of weights. It's an Olympic weight set. It's uh, 300 pounds total. 
with um, all the weights, the bar and stuff. So I wanted to have something where I could put weights on stuff and I had to keep moving stuff around, taking stuff off and redoing it and everything else. Another thing that I had been doing is um, sometimes I recently got my uh, backpack here. I've been calling it my rucksack. I've taken it and it's filled with like four four or five bags of cat litter and I bought them because it was the cheapest thing I could find with some weight that could go in there um, that way uh, I think you know it's got some pretty good weight I weighed myself the other day I was just under um, 140 without it and then I put it on and it put me up to over 170 on the scale I need to find a better scale to um to weigh myself with the one I got is just a cheap one and I don't think it's very accurate I need to find one a little bit probably digital a little bit more accurate that has like a not a dual sided weight um calculator or whatever you want to call it i think the one i got now you step on one side and only shows so much weight and then you step on the other and it shows the other weight um and that's pretty much the key to everything let me set this here i'll show you guys how scrawny i really am because i don't really have much of a chest i got a little bit of chest most of my muscles is right here from um I build bikes for a living and that's from years of just like lawnmower style pulling bicycles out of boxes and stuff like that and whatnot and I'd like to I have nothing here I'd like to try and get it to where these muscles fill in because there's like nothing here at all and um you know my biceps are okay just most of it seems like it goes like this but I definitely like to have more muscle or at least you know when I'm like being able to flex like this, I got more of my forearms are bigger, I think, than my, I feel like Popeye sometimes, um, they seem to be bigger than my biceps, my shoulder muscles are big, um, when I'm working out, I feel I have the, the vein structure to feed my muscles, because I got a lot of bigger veins here, and through here, and I have some that pop out, come out through my shoulders and stuff like that, um, I started to, uh, do a protein and creatine regimen. I drink a protein shake with um, creatine in it in the morning. Um, come home when I do my workout, I do a pre pre workout uh, mix with creatine, and then when I'm done with my workout, I'll do another pre protein shake with creatine in it again. Um, what what else? Of course I, I mix that up depends on if you know if I'm going to work out uh, you know I change up the amount of creatine like it says to do I don't know if that'll work help or not um, I definitely am you know okay with people give me feedback positive or negative stuff I need to do shouldn't do should do just looking to try and you know get fit and in shape like that right now I think that one thing that's definitely has built up on me so far since I've been running on the treadmill has been my um, hamstrings, my, my calf muscles. Uh, my biceps are starting to slowly get a little bit bigger. I think that's to help with the creatine since I started taking it. Uh, most of my stuff is just store-bought. I'm not going to go super expensive. I just don't want to get crazy. I want to get fit. Part of my thing is, is um, I want to see if people start to notice me a little bit differently. Um, you know, in society, you look at smaller people as a weaker person and people tend to not notice them. But you see someone that's kind of big, muscular, or fit, people tend to notice and they stand out more. So that's the second part of my um, experiment here is just to see if people start noticing me a little bit more. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Excuse me, my sinuses are running like crazy today. It's been hot and cold here, rainy and snowy and everything else um, here in Columbus, Ohio. So what I plan on doing is um, I'm going to do a weekly uh, weigh-in and measurement just to see how everything changes and stuff like that. If I feel something's different, I may um, do one sooner than a week. 
I may do some videos of me working out, some crazy nonsense, me on the treadmill running about seven, eight mile an hour with a backpack on. I've got so much weight on my backpack that the threads are starting to actually tear on one of the um, one of the shoulder straps. But luckily, it's got the the front cross lock too. So, um, wish me luck. Hopefully, this turns out pretty good. Don't know how long it's gonna take me to get to where I want, but. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching and seeing the journey. It's always interesting to see transformations. I've seen other people doing transformations, but it's been the, hey, it's this is what this person looked like before, and this is what they look like now. I want to try and do it gradual over time. That way, um, you know, it's a true showing of the, the process and what I've been doing, things I need to change. Um, I don't know a whole lot about weightlifting. I know a lot of people go to gyms and stuff like that. And it's easier, more accessible for me to have stuff here at my house. Definitely, I'm more willing to come out here and work out than having to drag to a gym somewhere and then drag home after working out. And frankly, it's some mornings I get up four or five o'clock in the morning and I will. Uh, come out hop on the treadmill for a little while just to you know burn some energy had some stuff going on and it actually working out helps uh, I guess some people to just clear their mind and stuff like that so I hope you guys enjoy my videos um, I have another channel it's Joe's Outdoor Adventures but this one's just gonna be strictly dedicated to um, me and uh, seeing how well I can improve and perform with my body Thanks for watching.